This should work. What? So I ran into an old friend that I graduated with when I was in Walmart buying all the cornstarch earlier. And of course a common question arose, what are you doing now? And it was, it, I said, you know, the same old, same old, you know, the same me I since I was high school. And then I saw his eyes travel straight from mine down to the cart with 20 pounds of cornstarch in it and four bicycle tubes and right back up into my eyes and I said, yup. So I said, yup, and it was probably the most awkward, silent, like, thing ever for like the next 30 seconds and then he was like all right have a good one i'm like you too anyways what is up guys i hope you guys are having an amazing day as you guys can tell from the title and the thumbnail today today we are filling my tires up with oobleck we have one two three literally like about 15 or 20 cans of cornstarch and we have four bicycle tubes if thing goes wrong and yeah, we got the whole nine yards last time i checked i'm pretty sure i got like 250 or like 500 comments to do this video idea so you guys already know your boy got to deliver one thing that is for sure is that this is going to be the most difficult filling video i've done yet because oobleck is such a crazy substance if you guys don't know what oobleck is i'll have to I'll have to show you guys more later but it's just basically a non-flutonium or non-newtonium I forgot the word basically it's a liquid that hardens once you hit it or like a hard impact or like anything like that so I'll show you guys more about it later but for right now it's gonna be really difficult to try and fill my tires up with this because it's it's Oobleck. If you guys are unaware, we tried seeing in the last video flex tape would patch a tube. It worked for about two days and now the tire is flat. I'm gonna pull off this tube and get to it in another video, but for right now, it is flat, so... I'm not sure if it's because of the flex tape or maybe there's like another slow leak, but anyways, we're gonna get to that in another video, but for right now, we're gonna take this tube out, put a new tube in, and fill that up with Oobleck, and we're also gonna do the back wheel. So no more wasting time, no more talking. We're gonna take all the air out of this tire. We're gonna replace the front tube for right now, and then we're gonna get making this Oobleck. Let's get crack lacking. Before we get crack lacking, one thing I recommend is that if you guys are new, then go down below and press subscribe. You guys clicked on this video for a crazy experiment with Oobleck and filling a bike tire, and we do a whole lot of experiments on this channel. So go down below, press subscribe, hit that notification bell, be notified when I post a video like this or honestly any video in general. So to do this, I'm actually taking out the real valves of the tube because when we fill it up with Oobleck, I feel like that valve's gonna stop a lot of the Oobleck. So if we don't have a valve, it's gonna be even better. And bam, two valves later. So both tires are done, they both have the valves out. Now the next step is to make the oobleck. So I made a post to YouTube saying to pick a color and to not ask questions. And the top one is blue. Yeah, 100% blue. It's a nice color, the colors of the sky. Oh, it looks delicious, okay. Alrighty, so we're gonna take the blue one out. Oh, stop, 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 okay, okay, stop. Stop. Now, if you guys are wondering, I made you guys pick a color for the color of the oobleck, and you guys didn't know that, but you guys picked blue. So I think this is gonna turn out awesome, especially because this blue is really close to my bike. Oh, it's already dripping. So for right now, we're gonna make a small proportion of oobleck. We're gonna see how that goes, and then from there, bigger proportions, bigger proportions, and then we're gonna have a big old thing of oobleck. So while I'm making this oobleck, I want you guys to go down below in the comment section and leave a comment what you guys think is going to happen. Honestly, I have no idea how this is going to work. It's the biggest concern right now, it's actually being able to fill up my tires because oobleck is a crazy thick substance and it has to go through like that little pump and everything. And so that, leave a comment what you guys think is going to happen. Honestly, it's up for games. I have no idea what's going to happen and it's, it's fair play right now. And while you guys are going down in the comment section, leave a fat like on this video because why not? So we got the first little bit of oobleck all made and if you guys don't know what oobleck is basically it's a liquid but at force at a certain force it hardens up punch it like it's a punching bag and you'll get nothing at all but yeah that's basically what it is science rules all right so now for the moment of truth No, it broke. So that's clearly not working. Now my next idea is actually to fill this this little water bottle up with the oobleck and just let it ooze in because if we if we try to force it in with a pump, it's obviously not gonna work because that's a lot of pressure, so it's gonna harden up. I knew this flex tape would come in handy, so we poured the uh, the oobleck into this little water bottle. Now what we're going to do is we're going to tip it upside down, and we're just going to let it spew out. It's probably going to take like a probably going to take a few minutes, but we're hopefully going to fill that back tire up really fast. All right, now for the moment of truth. Please work. That's really slow. 
Bro, this is this is literally gonna be forever. How the f can we do this? Yo, like the only thing to do is all right so that did not work out the biggest problem that we're having right now is that the oobleck is too thick to go through that little valve of the of the tube so we gotta think what if we put no it's not gonna work all right guys so this is the last case scenario but i know this will work we're going to cut the tubes and we're going to actually fill the tubes up with oobleck and then put them on the bike but then we're going to flex tape the tubes out this should work this should work way better than what we're doing because it's not just, it's not going to work with the valve. If you guys have any other suggestions of how we could put this Ublek into the tire, please go down below and leave it in the comment section because right now it's just not working and I'm, I will be so down to come back and do this with a uh, better idea. But either way, the valve is way too small for that Ublek to enter and you can't just pressurize that Ublek and you can't just push it in as hard as you can because it'll just stiffen up and it won't work. So with that, we're gonna cut open the tubes and we're going to fill them with Ublek somehow, some way. We're gonna make it work. You know, if they said it was easy, everybody would do it so there's not really any easy way of doing this other than just cutting open a big enough hole for this bottle so now we're going to take this fold it over the oobleck bottle and then we're going to tip a little modification going on right now oh yeah this is 100 percent going to work this way I've been at this since about one o'clock and right now, right now it is 2.40, 2.40. There's just oobleck absolutely everywhere. But I think we found the key and the tube is actually starting to fill up quite a bit. So we're gonna finish up that tube and we're gonna really quickly do the front one. It shouldn't be too much longer. So I think we should be on the road within 20 minutes after we clean all this up. Wow. All right, so this tube is done. Now we're gonna flex seal the out of this. Bam, one tube is done. Now time for the next tube. So the next tube is almost done. I just have to put the valve back in. Now the only thing that we don't really have in uh, accordance to the other videos that are usually like this is we don't have a good pressure in the tubes because we cut them in half and we're using flex tape to seal them. There isn't that much pressure. So these are, they're kind of like flat if you feel. So I think this is as good as we're going to get it. Finish this up and now we just have to clean up this whole entire mess. Thankfully, this is gonna be pretty easy to clean. All we have to do is take a hose and just spray all this nonsense off. And then we're gonna head over to the skate park. So stay tuned for that because I'm hyped. So I cleaned up everything. I went inside, I also cleaned up myself. And this is not, this is not oobleck right here. These right here. It's just the print of my clothes and uh, there's just, there's just oobleck everywhere. Cornstarch, my camera's covered in it. It's a mess right now. It's looking like it's gonna rain again pretty soon, so we have to rush to the skate park. Oh no, it's happening. I just want one video where Mother Nature doesn't come over and decide to just take a sh on us and ruin the whole video. I, ju I just want one. You know what, raining or not, we're gonna take a couple pedals in this parking lot to see how this bike truly feels. I would take it into the skate park, but it's gonna be so wet and it's gonna be very slippery. Very slippery. All right, come on, you smelly. Oh no! What? No, it leaked everywhere. Little drop test. It like, it's so weird. It's like always hard. Like it's very hard unless you like really squeeze it and then it gets like a liquid, but it's like constantly hard. All right, we're gonna see how it rides. This is hard. Oh my god. It's so heavy. Couple things. First of all, that took a lot of tries. Second of all, it's extremely heavy. Third of all, it's like even though the tubes and like the tire looks kind of flat and everything, it has like this really hard like like it feels like I'm riding on 12 inch tubes that are fully pumped up, but like the tire's just too big for them. Like they're constantly hard. There's no like, they're not like, oh, I'm bleeding. Weird. Anyways, there really isn't much of a give into them because I think personally, because the tube has a lot of pressure as is, it's always putting pressure on the oobleck. 
So because it's always putting pressure on the oobleck, the oobleck is gonna react to that with the pressure and it's gonna harden up, always. You see here how the tube is always really hard, but if you really squeeze on it for a while, it gets softer. But for the most part, it's always hard because it's always getting compacted by the tube. Science rules. Another thing that is clear is that it's very lopsided, very lopsided. So like once you're like riding it, it's like the oobleck just goes crazy inside of the rim and like one place will have a lot of it, the other place won't. It's just, it's the craziest thing, but it's never fully balanced out. It's like a sponge every single time you land, it's just like sponge and like takes all your momentum. It's so tiring because it just takes away all your momentum. You just you just literally have nowhere to go. We're cutting it open. Yeah, that's gross. Jesus, dude, there's like everywhere. This is just turning into a mess. So, you wanna know what I did? What? Hold up. Stay right there. Oh my god, what fucking now? Take a wild guess. It's not paint, I'll say that. What do you think it is? Is this how you get subscribers? This is this is how you get subscribers, yeah. Do you know what oobleck is? What? Do you know what oobleck is? No. Yeah, so like if you if you punch this right now, it'll harden, it'll act like it's like a hard object, but if you like squeeze it softly. So do you have liquid. other tubes? Yeah, I got four other tubes in my car. Like I said earlier, I had no idea if this was gonna work, and honestly, I had my doubts because, like I said, it's gonna be so hard to fill a tube up. Oh, I, uh, uh, I'm so sick of the feeling of oobleck. I'm so sick of tired of saying, oh, dude, this is gross. Anyways, I had my doubts that it wasn't gonna work because oobleck's a very thick substance, and to get that inside of a tube is incredibly difficult. But one thing I know is that we can't say that we didn't try it. So one thing that is for sure is I am definitely open to try this again. Sorry, I just thought about oobleck in my hands again. I hate the feeling of it. I'm definitely open to try this again in the future if somehow we figure out a better way of doing this and filling up my tires to the point where they're full of oobleck. But if you guys know any way to do this, please go down below in the comment section below and leave a comment because I've tried almost everything I could ever think of and I'm just speechless we could try doing it with a tubeless setup but the only problem is like with a tubeless setup we, we have to figure out some way to have the tire literally beaded on to the rim while we do it so we made it back home and it is absolutely downpouring and casper says hello and it's absolutely downpouring and the amount of just cornstarch and oobleck i have everywhere is just everywhere you know i'm not gonna lie i was stressing out about cleaning all this oobleck alone but uh thank god we got Elsa here to help us out. I really hope somebody doesn't sneak up from behind me. Especially a man. No idea how, but there's just oobleck everywhere. So anyways, on that note, that's probably gonna conclude this video, guys. I have nothing else to do for the rest of the day except for hanging out with my girlfriend, and I'm not gonna bring you guys along with that because that's just torture for you. So with that, if you guys seem to enjoy this video, please go down below and leave a fat like, fat subscribe, leave a fat notification bell ring thing anyways. Just hit that notification bell. And you'll be notified when I post a video like this or any video in general. Like I said earlier, leave a comment of how we can somehow make this oobleck tire work because we tried today and uh, I don't know if this was a mission success or not. Leave a comment if it was a mission success or not. So with all that, don't forget to share with your friends, share the homies, share your dog, share the cat, share the friends on mom, share it with your local Elsa. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.